Hi, so I just want to talk to you about the UI changes that you may see between my videos and AWS. So just to explain things to you, AWS is doing a huge transition of their interface to a new guidelines for design. And so in that regard, sometimes the UI will look new, and this is what I call a new type of UI, and it looks like pretty square and so on. But sometimes you will have the old kind of UIs, which looks like this. And so AWS is doing a transition for all their services of all their UIs, and it's not all at the same time. It happens over one year or two years, and it's still happening today. So my goal is obviously to have videos as updated as possible, but it is for me it's literally impossible to keep up with all the changes until they're done with them. So what I'm doing is that I try my best to keep my videos up to date if they are breaking changes. But if I believe that the changes are minor enough that you can find your way around the console, I will not update the video just yet. But trust me, I do listen to student feedback, and whenever a video is outdated, I will go ahead and update it, okay? Another thing you can do is that if you really are lost, you can switch a toggle in most of the services that have a new experience and switch back to the old UI. If you do switch back to the old UI, like here, as you can see, you will see the old UI sometimes like you see in my videos. But really, I just wanted to give you a little warning just to explain to you, the course is not outdated. It is my passion and my duty to make sure that you pass your exam and learn a lot in this course. And so trust me, I am monitoring every single day for updates and changes that are breaking my course. And if they do break my course, I promise that I will update my videos. But please, please, please forgive me in advance if the video doesn't look as updated as the UI in AWS. It is very difficult right now to keep up with our changes. So thank you so much, and I wish you a very happy learning.